Chatterjee, uh, is he present here or not? Am I audible? Uh, hi, sir? you are audible. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Carry on, carry on. Thank you, thank you. I am Shubhashi Chatterjee, a research scholar from OPJS University, Rajasthan, and I am lecturing in Rahoda Ramkrishna Mission. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to your university, all the organizers of the webinar. Today, I am very lucky after participating in that type of paper. My title is The Qualitative and Quantitative Analysis of Asian Democracy. There was, uh, I already sent the abstract, that is practically the quasi-comparative research. And I assess, number one, democratic procedures, content and outcomes in eight Number two, qualitative and quantitative data on democratic studies. Number three, how democratic qualities relate to another. Number four, any analytical framework from empirical findings we can observe in our Asian country. Number five, participation and competition of the main of the determinants democratic quality forming a funnel of causality. The present study I suggest about the democratic quality is weakly related to one another, not forming any funnel of causality and participation and competition. Those are not the main driver of democratic quality. I used basically the data and tools, probable samplings and completion leads the responsiveness by achieving transition from by the law with prominence of patronizing. As democracy has spread to the majority of the world's countries, simply explaining resigned transition, the debate now reflects more general scholarly concerns about the state of democratic practice in many democracies, new and old. I turn attention to assessing the quality of democracy in Asia Pacific on the basis of both qualitative and quantitative data from an study. Empirically, my project is the first effort to the best of our knowledge to apply an analytical framework we developed elsewhere in assessing the democratic qualities of Asian Pacific countries. The quality of democracy, describing the fuzzy classification, ambiguous impacts, false reading and selective scrutiny, despite substantial and widely shared concern about democratic quality. Scholarly, rarely I agree about measurements and classifications and human resource, nor can most current models fully adjustable issues of in our detectionability, endogeneity and potential trade-offs between measures of good democracy. The resulting findings seem to support a different understanding of democratic practice in Asia, in other regions of the world. The literature that was long concerned with conceptualizing democracy, its origin, installation, consolidations of crisis, and survival, has in recent years expanded in scope of identifying, addressing, and assessing the quality. I argued that because of democracy in multidimensional attention should be paid to how to system operates procedurally, to how much freedom and equality the political system promotes, to how much responsiveness democracy is able to secure and to how much legitimacy it is able to enjoy from our society. The basically, the quality of democracy, it is in a sustainable status. If we assess in domain and dimension, in procedural area, there are rule of law, electoral accountability, inter-sustainability, accountability, political participation, and political competitions. And in case of domain content, we can take only freedom and equality. And the basic outcomes of our result is responsiveness. If we measure our human resource, if we measure the migration of our human resource, 
inter migration and outer migration there will be fruitful results no other concepts here is there the content of democracy dimension pertains to the ability of the promote freedom and equality which we measures respectively on the basis of freedom house index and the uh, uh, democracy assessed by us the basic procedural dimension the rule of law electoral accountability inter institutional accountability political competition and participation the content full dimensions and the outcome dimensions is that it is measured on the basis of the legitimacy of democracy computed by calculating the percentage of survey respondents who indicates that they are either very or fairly satisfied with democracy in our country so the procedural qualities includes the inter institutional accountability model electoral accountability model and corruption perception index and the fourth one is participation model those model are useful and lastly in my conclusion there is a uh, outcomes shortcomings in dimension of procedures and content there is little doubt that responsiveness and performance legitimacy more generally are critical to current democratic practice in asia it is hardly surprising given the legacies of highly successful developmental state there which applied technocratic managerial policies to generate the fastest economic development in our history thank you very much sir hello very good sir thank you thank you for your presentation thank you sir thank you sir wasit chatterjee thank you for be with us uh, dear participant be with us result kodim there may